Hey Scorpio, you guys, I am doing a ghosted energy check-in. Um, and you're going to know this is your read by your energy. So if that doesn't resonate, check those other placements, you guys. And if you're new, welcome. Um, so everything else is going to be based upon the situation, this person, their energy, intentions, why they ghosted, what's happening, are they coming back? Um, we're going to just see what is happening with you and this person. So your energy, the moon card. The Knight of Wands coming through. So you could be coming, you could be kind of showing some frustration, scattered energy, um, maybe even a little bit haste. And if somebody's really kind of screwed you over, I kind of feel like you guys are in this uh, mental state where it's like, I'm just going to get mine. I'm here to make myself happy, you know? Um, if I And it's not that you're doing payback or anything like that, but it's almost like you're just here um not trying to take any um one situation seriously it doesn't mean that you're playing people and you're using people and you're being gross or um, neg negative energy um but it's like it's all about me i just feel like you're here and it's like it's all about me right now and, and with the moon card i feel like you're kind of hiding you could be hiding behind some emotions and feelings when it comes to this person all right and if you're not embodying the knight of wands in reverse it could be that that's how you feel you were treated like somebody just uh, um, disregarded you um and your energy right um and i you know the ten of uh, pentacles right now could just be that your focus is on money um stability and finances um but again that moon card just tells me that you're possibly hiding some feelings and emotions when it comes to this person or even playing it off like it's not that big of a deal okay so let's see who you're dealing with who is this person scorpio is dealing with um so you have gemini I feel like Gemini has showed up in a lot of your guys' reads. Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, even Earth energy. And with the Four of Wands, you got Aries. So it could be any of those um, um, signs. Uh, so this person coming through, um, I'm almost feeling like you could be dealing with somebody who is all talk, no action. All right. Um, it doesn't mean that their feelings and emotions aren't there for you. But with the Page of Swords coming through, um, I kind of feel like that that energy could be all talk, no action. And somebody who also kind of moves or operates in haste. Um, well, you got the Four of Wands. So this could be something deeper. This could be um, a connection that comes through that you've experienced um, some sort of a soul level activation. It doesn't have to be, but this does um, uh, often reference a, a soulmate dynamic, all right? Um, and with the Page of Swords, it also tells me that this person's actually probably um, just as engaged and curious about what you're doing since you guys have split, disconnected, and gone separate ways. Um, but now I just feel like this person sitting here. They want to come through. They want to tell you what's been going on, but let's see how they feel about you. How does this person feel? Um, how they feel about you. They know that they've wounded you. The Knight of Pentacles is showing up. Um, that's You could be dealing with this situation, this connection for quite some time. Um, but they know that they've hurt you. The Seven of Swords in reverse. Um, that's the Stolen Heart card. This is how they see you. And I'm almost feeling like this person knows that they've neglected or hurt you in some way. Especially because that Knight of Wands coming through in reverse. Look at the Queen of, of Swords showing up also. Um, the Six of Pentacles is, you know, it's supposed to be balance um, success. I feel like you do balance this person, um, you know, but it's like I know that I, I, I've i hurt Scorpio, you know. Um, some very, very slight um, few of you, I, I got to say, I, I, I don't really talk about cross watchers that much, but some of you guys could be here and the roles have been completely reversed um, as far as what I'm seeing. But I, but this is Scorpio's read, so I'm going to keep it along the path of Scorpio. Um, but anyways, I do feel like there's an acknowledgement of hurt here. So with that being said, let's see what this person's intentions were from the start. What were their intentions? What was their intentions? We have, so here, it's almost like, uh, you got the Ace of Cups, um, you know, and then we have the Five of Swords and the Four of Swords. It's almost like this person um, kind of knew, be knew better than to get anything started. Um, it, it, you know, depending on their background, depending on what where they sat at before you guys had connected. Um, I feel like their intentions, it's almost like they're coming through thinking that they were ready to start something new. But then being unsure. Being unsure about where they wanted it to go. 
um, and you guys could have disconnected, you know, a couple of times or, um, you know, where communication falls through the cracks. All right. It's almost like this person and their intentions were to start something new, but then they become conflicted with themselves and that's where they kind of dissipate. That's where they dip out. Um, but I got to see, let's, let's check it out. Why did this person ghost? I feel like this is all internal. Why did they ghost? The two of pentacles. Not sure. I don't know what I want. Look at that. This person, they, they just are really unsure about themselves and what they want. The will of fortune. It's almost like every time something good happens in my life, um, it shit goes wrong. That's where I feel like this person's coming through. It's almost like they don't trust judgment within themselves. Um, the two of pentacles is it could be that this person is juggling a lot. There's a lot going on in their life right now, but I almost feel like this is about this person's, um, ability to kind of trust in themselves. It's almost like they don't trust in, 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 in themselves when it comes to making decisions, especially on the romantic aspect, it, because even right here on this, where they ghosted, it kind of ties into their intentions. It's like, I, you know, they, they're, it's like, I, I'm going to start something, but I'm not going to finish it because, uh, you know, maybe I'm not making the right choice. I don't feel like this person has anyone else in the background. It's almost like they're sabotaging themselves. They're setting themselves up for failure because they don't believe in themselves. Um, let's just see what the, if they're coming back the next 30 days. Are they coming back? Look at that. There is going to be decisions that get made. And this person, they can't stop thinking about you, but check it out. They're coming through with the King of Pentacles, which I feel is, um, it's more, it's more certainty. It's having more clarity. It's, it's, to me, it's more solid. They're coming through as a more solid, um, ind ind individual, you know, with this King of Swords and that Page of Swords, I almost feel like they're kind of, rep they're representing some all talk, no action, maybe even uncertainty when it comes to the, the mental, um, state of mind. I don't know what I want. Every time I pick something, it always kind of, um, you know, it never works out. I just feel like this person um, has trouble with themselves. Like they don't, it's almost like they don't have faith in themselves, but I do feel like they will come back. I feel like um, in the, the King of Pentacles energy, um, even though that King of Swords represents mental clarity, I feel like they're, they're on the brink of confusion with that Page of Swords. Um, so a little bit hesitant, a little bit uh, un unclear of, of what it is they truly want. And the King of Pentacles coming through as a more solid form, um, a more, um, more secure in their energy. That's just, um, I just want to see a little bit more about this. It's, it, it, it's like there's this recognition that this person's going to have. There's a bigger picture to this connection. Look at that. The Emperor card coming through. Yes, they, they will be coming back. Um, it's like they're doing themselves more, more hurt than help. Um, being or separating themselves from you, I should say. Pulling their energy back. All right. So let's just see um, what your advice is with this your advice there's potential here to move forward if you guys choose all right you have the hangman card coming through and i feel like what's happening here is you guys are moving away from the uncertainty the unclarity i do feel like this is going to be a choice that you guys are going to get to take the lead on even if it doesn't seem like that right now dealing with somebody who's indecisive it can be pretty hard but i do feel like this person's stepping it up a little bit um there's a lot of pages you know um we got another one right here so advice uh for those people who kind of deal with um, the heavier soul connections, sometimes people draw back. They draw back their energy because they're scared. Um, the deep connections make people think. They make them grow. And I feel like that's probably where some of this person's um, hesitancy will come through or, or has shown through. Um, basically, you're here and you're kind of shaking them up. Yeah. Stepping out of the ego. Moving forward. There's the ego. There's the fear. This is like a, somebody who who definitely uh, brings their fears. It's like their fears manifest too. Um, and they probably have seen that a lot more in their waking life, in this life with relationships especially, than um, obviously rewards and success. So I don't know. I feel like you guys will be able to take this where, where you want it to go. But if the person comes in and, and you can kind of see that they're hesitant or they are pulled it back a little bit they're still kind of clueless they're, they're still not quite sure what they want then that's um that's going to be your sign to either um be patient with them or 
move away from them, move away from the dynamic. Um, this is not the worst read. I just feel like you're when you deal with somebody who embodies confusion, sometimes it's worth it to move forward and keep doing you until this person, until they can clearly decide what they want. Um, initials coming through this read are IL. You're going to be able to know, you'll, you'll know that this read is yours too, because you're going to see where this person just shows hesitancy. Um, and I feel like this is a confirmation. And sometimes when, when we see confusion with people, we just take it as we're not good enough or they don't like us, or maybe they're waiting for something better, but it's not this one right here. You guys, I can clearly see that this person is dealing with some things and it's probably more about trusting it in themselves. Uh, when I trusted in myself the last time, it didn't work out, right? Z-O-A-K. All right, Scorp, I'm going to leave it there. You guys take care.